Wow. If you're a fan of big, bold, juicy red wines and maybe looking to try something a little different, I've got a suggestion for you. Have you ever heard of Tanat? To paraphrase a famous movie, it's like, how much more red could this be? And the answer is none, none more red. Tanat is a grape and a wine originally from the south of France. And it's so intense and tannic that in the old days, they used to actually blend it together with wines like Cabernet Sauvignon and Cabernet Franc to soften it up a little bit. So when Cabernet Sauvignon is the softer of the two grapes, you have to ask yourself, how intense is Tanat? And the answer is insanely intense. What makes this wine such a powerhouse is a very rare quality. The pulp inside the grape is red too. And this may seem like common sense, but actually most red wine grapes have white pulp. Tanat belongs to a rare class of grapes known as tinctorier. And this French word literally means stained or staining because of the dark, inky color of the pulp inside the grape. For that reason, Tanat is extra intense in color. It's very tannic, which is where it actually gets its name. And it's filled with tons of flavor. It also has one of the highest antioxidant contents in the grape world, which means it's actually very healthy for you. Although the grape is well known in France, it's rumored that it came from the Basque region of northern Spain. And it's thanks to the Basque people that it found its way into South America in the 19th century, specifically the country of Uruguay. Today, there are about 5,000 acres of Tanat in Uruguay, and it's the single most important grape and wine in the whole country. So what does Tanat taste like? As mentioned, uh, Tanat delivers a pretty intense experience. First of all, it's got these teeth gripping tannins and it's got these heady aromas of prune and licorice, sometimes exotic spice and even bitter chocolate. When it's oak aged, you'll even get smoke and vanilla bean. And as it ages, it gives off distinct brown sugar and fig vibes. And I'm focusing on Tanat from Uruguay here, but French Tanat is a real treat too. You can find it in the Southern regions of Maduron and Iruligui. French Tanat tends to be more lean, tannic, and acidic, and it generally needs a few years to age. Whereas uh, Tanat from Uruguay is generally softer, smoother, and ready to drink early. And you'll probably want some food pairing suggestions for your Tanat. I suggest in this case, we follow Uruguay's lead. The national pastime down there is grilled meats, known as asado. It's an art form down there, and they grill everything from pork to game meats to even vegetables. Lastly, and bestly, most Tanat is affordable. You can get one from Uruguay from $15 to $25, and the French counterparts are slightly more expensive. A nice Mataron will run you anywhere from $25 to $40. So there's the quick sip on Tanat. Thanks for drinking with me today, and uh, feel free to leave comments or questions down below this video. And for hundreds more videos like this about wine, spirits, and food pairings, check out the rest of my channel. Okay, I'll see you for the next new and interesting wine. Cheers.